In this fourth section of the tutorial, we're going to take a look at the artist screen and take a look at laying this out and introducing ourselves to something called the repeat grid, which speeds up our workflow immensely. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by adding a circle to the screen here. So I'm holding shift and alt down to drag out from the center and I'm to bring it down like such like that. Let's give it a, for a border color like this, let's make it a six. And let's bring in our artist, drop it in there. So we've got our artist there, and then we'll do a rectangle underneath here. I'll explain who this is. Okay, and once you've drawn that, you can just snap it to the center like so. Let's make it a mid orange, take that off and on the fill, let's take it down to like 50% opacity. So we can see through it a little bit. Okay, and then let's create some text. There we go. So we've put that in place and there's nothing that we haven't done before already. So I've moved that pretty quickly. Now I want to start making a section underneath here where we might see uh, some band information, like some music and that sort of thing. So we're going to create a very simple white box underneath here. Let's get rid of the border on this and then a square. And the square is going to be for like the uh, artwork of whatever track it might happen to be. Let's, let's bring this down, bring it to front. There we go. So put the name of the track in here and set that to a line left. We need one more thing on here while I remember. We just need to put a line at the bottom. Don't want this to go all the way around, just want it there at the bottom. So. Something like that, let's click off, just make sure we've got that good. It looks good to me. So with that, the white box, the text, and this element here, we're now gonna go over to the amazing magic repeat grid. So click on repeat grid, and it lets us extend downwards this way. Now, one thing I don't want is a gap in between them because I want these right up close together. So if you bring it up over there, it sort of tells us if you could see that how much space there was between. Let's put about six of these out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that gives us a pretty good kind of interface for us to work with. Now, the amazing thing about this is we can now put a different image in all of these and we can put a different text in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So join me in just a second when I've done all of this. Okay, so we've got all of that in place. We're gonna grab all of this and this section here and just group it together. So that's Command G on my Mac and Control G on the PC. And now I'm gonna add in a little bar at the bottom, which is gonna have some tools on there that we can use as part of our interface. So let's go and choose a color like that and uh, get rid of the border. And on the fill, just bring down the opacity of that a little bit, something along the lines of that will be fine. Okay, and then now we're gonna create some icons for that. So the first one I'm gonna do is gonna be like a speech bubble. So I'm gonna just do it over here to the side. So speech bubble looks a bit like this with an arrow together. So once you're done, rotate it. So that's the speech bubble. We're gonna make an arrow now. And there's the arrow made. And last but not least, let's make a little person over here. And then just nudge them into place when you've got them all done. So that, that's great. We've got things here which are going to be interactive for us. I'm going to grab this and move it up to the top 
and rotate it around. I'm going to edit this, double click it to edit, and if we zoom in on it, we should be able to pull it in something like that. And grab the whole thing, give it a fill, and get rid of the border on there. And that's going to be our back button up at the top, which enables us to go back. So we've got those things together. One more thing I'm going to do is just very quickly uh, copy this and paste it. And if, I, if you use Alt, you can drag it off again another time. So then we've got two more versions of this. And then I'm just going to edit this very quickly uh, so that we can see uh, a sort of chat screen and an uprising screen. So I'll just do that super fast and then you can copy the layout from there it's very easy it's just going to be text on the screen there so let me just go ahead and do that okay i've quickly created a simple chat just use the arrow and position that together just like we did with all of these elements here and again just a, a little supporting thing here for the uprising that's going to be really important to us going forward when we're trying to do the drag backwards and forwards so it's good to have them ready on this screen because we're going to need them on this screen for later on but join us in the very last tutorial where we bring it all together and add the last interaction with the drag backwards and forwards and put things together for that one so thanks for joining us for this we'll see you soon